Before we begin, for my TikTok community, please be sure to follow YouTube because uh, there's a bill that passed in the US of A and I don't know how much longer I'll be able to use you. So on that note, uh, let's not go to what is very sad news. I'm a political science major and I'm also a mature, emotionally speaking human being, which makes me smart in a lot of different ways. And we will leave the ancient silverbacks and those who apparently think of smarts as something called not being emotionally mature. And we will get into, in fact, our topic because the adaptive child, which is a maladaptive child behavior, which is all a 16 year old teenager attitude. And I was not a typical teenager. I recognized as an adolescent how stupidity had teenagers making choices that really, really, so self-empowered women, when we see any emotionally unavailable human beings, we'll be like, what? I know Jesus. What are you doing? I know common sense. What are you doing? Oh, wait, I was stupid too because, you know, low self-esteem. Anyone who is emotionally immature at the ages of, you know, adolescent, we have a pruning process, but that, by the way, that happens. I'm attachment trauma informed besides being a 5D mystic in the enlightenment soul age group. Very possible because you have a relationship with your emotional body. The Zen masters who don't, they think that it's laundry to have feelings because they don't know how to do their inner child. In fact, they lose their inner child to what? To... The personality, like the doomsday, the hostile, thank you, Patrick Tiahan, uh, the, the childhood trauma survivor personalities that can be healed because yourself is something that you can work on. But you'd have to want to do emotional lifting. So as Patrick Tiahan does point out, a lot of people don't want to do it. And that's why we say, okay. Let's see, some cultures and lifetimes, there have been traditions of neglecting the human body in favor of becoming more spiritual. Yes, those are all the spiritual bypassers, the 4D collective who actually thinks because they have clairs that there's some spiritual warfare going on due to technology and sciences. So they have disconnected from being a human being. They may use the word Jesus. They don't know Christ consciousness, integration of brain, staying with the left and right. Okay, so when a persona is born, and you're not grounded in your inner child, it is not because uh, you are feeling good inside. Nope. The fact is that trauma memory and trauma charges, they come up. And so your biochemistry and everything that is a maladaptive child behavior is a dysfunctional, dysregulated nervous system that can be worked on. But therapists have to negotiate with people that go to them to remind them it's hell that's coming up. Uh, we're going to help you get out of it, but it's a ladder that is burning. So online, I've noticed there are people like, oh, here's my pathology. I'm going to say just like this and uh, be miserable. Hey, come join me. Okay, so I said, no, no, please don't join the ones who want to do human suffering love because you are not alone. You're a mammal like I am. And we want to support you to know magic works through you. But I can't help you to feel alive. That's your nervous system. I can't teach you about healthy boundaries. First of all, reparenting yourself requires that you understand what childhood trauma means and take it seriously versus be Pinocchio walking around with the ears and the tail after having made decisions of let me go distract myself with fucking drunking, drinking. I mean, he didn't do that because it was for children, right? But might as well add that because this is for adults. Okay, so that independent thing and being generous by going out and doing the shame cycle, nothing cool, nothing fancy. Actually, let's, you know, again, be grounded in reality. So compassion, definitely for all people, knowing that they choose if they're going to work with their inner world and that we give them the opportunity to understand authenticity, which is you do emotional lifting. As Patrick Tiahan points out versus identifying and continuing to do what is rumination. So when you sit in your brain and you have, oh, woe me, woe me, or life doesn't mean anything. Well, guess what? The stars. Let's talk about that, shall we? Every word you utter, every action you take, your very existence. Is it for everyone's well-being or is it just about you? And then this is Sadhguru. He says, just fix this one thing to determine the nature of your life. However, let's go a little bit deeper, shall we? Because spirituality, it is a way of living life with meaning and connection beyond the solo self. So what you notice about the people who are in the shame cycle, they have low self-esteem and direct communication, passive-aggressive, their mannerisms are not about reparenting and their boundaries. They cancel block, they go silent, they ghost, you know, all this stuff. And then they 
uh, isolate. And then they say life sucks and it's all hard. And they don't actually say, oh, wait, I got an embodied brain. I got a nervous system. In fact, the only way that people tend to get interested in anything is if it becomes trending. Thank goodness yoga is trending because it actually grows the very areas that are affected for and in the brain of people who have a first year of life where they were not in a safe environment. And we don't go criticizing any parent because it's a transgenerational trauma, culture trauma. There's a lot of ways we can talk about it, but people that are trending, we're going to talk about the hypocrites, the ones who say I'm advocating for mental health. And then they go and say, you're a narcissist that, yeah, that that's a hypocrite. Because if you do know mental health, you're not going to say to the narcissist that you're going to leave it alone. You're going to disengage and you're going to work on your own emotional triggers and you're going to heal and become a full functional adult first. And then you're going to say, hey, in case they come towards you, I can help you. But let me share with you. And that's only if they're interested. You got their permission or not. The good therapists tell me always you need to have their permission. If they're not interested in doing the work, you don't need to be talking about them as assholes. That's not necessary. They're not assholes for real. They're in the Michael Stone scale, potentially, the forensic criminologist, but they are traumatized. They're one-year-olds. It's not a devil or demon, all those stories. See, the people who are not in the Enlightenment Soul Age group, they use stories still. We use different stories. So Pinocchio's with ears, following the 7 of 14 charming because the little magical wand, let me put a subject matter expert on a pedestal and not recognize I'm not anywhere near smart by using only my left mode because... <laughs> My inner child, nowhere to be found. It's called non-bilateral integration. Some of us, instead, we see really clearly, which is where the 5D collective is. So it's not enough to ask people about a positive experience. That's right. It's about savoring the, that experience and getting them to stay with it. Bill O'Hanlon, LMFT, yes. But they need to be like, oh, look, my nervous system. Let me do emotional work because I get to keep on working on it, like lifting weights, right? Or how about this, journaling, meditation, doing the things that help your brain to get integrated, your inner well-being? Oh, I'm sorry, is that work? Because I've seen the attachment avoidant. Ah, they're telling me I'm doing a good job. I'm not going to do it anymore. Okay, so your motivation to have inner well-being is none. And that's where the human suffering love group goes. So besides the 3D, 4D with their belief systems that they completely... You know, it's like wool over the eyes. They're flat earthers. I'm wool pseudoscience lady because I'm a mystic. And I'm bringing human, spiritual, and spirituality elements together. So I'm coherent with knowing, yep, yeah, woo-woo, pseudoscience, it's great. And dandy doesn't mean I'm not helping. No, actually, I can say I'm being myself thanks to me being able to have alchemy. Let's see, the frequency of alchemy. It activates my magical ability and remembrance uh, of the magic that we all hold inside. That's right. It's my integrated brain, prefrontal cortex, higher social engagement system, gooey, ooey, ooey, whole three-year-old heart. And what else? Each one of us has, yes, the potential to access the ancient knowledge. Yes, it's very ancient, allowed true alchemists to perform the miracles of transmutation. 4D gets lost in thinking, oh, I'm special and gifted for alchemy. You can do it, but you need to find that joy of life within you. Oh, look, belief. Let's see. 11, the numerology. 4D loves talking about numerology. How many of them are happy to be human? I wonder. Here, Sadhguru, your contribution to the world is you, how you live, how joyful you are. Everything has an impact. And if you care about life, well, you're going to claim it, aren't you? And if you don't, you won't. And oh, woe me, woe us. So for a person like myself, it's very sad to see people give up on themselves, but they have to choose to want to return home to their whole three-year-old heart. You can't have them believe in themselves or feel joy or delight if they're not working with their embodied brain. And it's the brain and the heart. And it's called somatic empath here and somatic harmony. And I always forget how to use that, but I'm somatic informed as well. I just, it's a word that hasn't stuck really well, but it's mind and heart. So frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on, yeah, gifts, talents, you be you, I be me, and it's going to be fun. And remember, we're all imperfect and flawed. So really, we're a piece of the same cloth. Emergence, the inner child of you, that frequency invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. We get to do this on earth. We get to do this while we're alive to create deep connection in the physical plane. And that's only if you create relationships. So trauma is relational, which is why intimacy is the core. The first intimacy is to love yourself first and then you can love others. So luckily for us, we have people like myself and those of you who are part of the 5D collective. We have the ability to say, 
let's go build a snowman because we all were children and anyone who doesn't heal their trauma there's great therapists out there waiting for them to go there and any one of us who wants to build a secure connection and secure relationships we can do that all the time join us and we're going to have some more episodes empowered women empowered men empowered days whole three old hearts tune in Thank <laughs> you.